Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we're going to do a game between two teams from history using Baseball Max. And uh, it is going to be the 1970 Orioles taking on the 1979 We Are Family Pirates. Uh, you can see that the, um, the Pirates are up on the screen. I will be controlling the Pirates, I believe. And uh, that lineup is going to be Bill Madlock leading off and playing third base. Omar Moreno batting second, playing center field. Dave Parker will bat third and play right field. Willie Stargell, Pops, will be batting in the cleanup spot and playing first base. Uh, Bill Robinson will be the left fielder, batting fifth. Phil Scrap Iron Garner will be the second baseman, batting sixth. Steve Nikosha is going to do the catching today, not at Ott. And he'll bat seventh, with Tim Foley batting eighth and playing shortstop. And Burt. Bly Levin, pitching and batting ninth. And they will be going up against the 1970 Orioles. The Orioles will line up as Paul Blair, center field, batting first. Mark Belanger, the shortstop, batting second. Boog Powell will bat third and play first base. Frank Robinson will bat uh, fourth and play right field. Uh, Don Buford bats in the fifth spot, plays left field. Um, Ellie Hendricks, I think it's El maybe Ellie Hendricks, uh, batting sixth and playing catcher. Um, <coughs> Robinson, Brooks Robinson, will be playing third base and batting seventh. Uh, gold Glove, probably best third baseman in the history of baseball. Davey Johnson, the former Mets manager, will bat eighth and play second base. And Mike Cuellar is going to do the pitching and bat ninth. And so let's get on with this game. There you go. That's what you got. That's what we're looking at. Cuellar comes, uh, he'll, his card will be based on a 347 earned run average and a 115 whip. Bly Levins will be based on a 361 ERA and a 139 whip. And the umpire's getting ready to say, play ball. Bill Madlock is the first batter here in the top of the first. And that is going to be a fly ball to right, and he's out. That'll bring up Omar Moreno. Now, the computer made these lineups. Personally, I would have let off with Moreno, but Moreno walks, and he is on base unencumbered, and we will try to steal second base and see what happens with that. Well, the safe chance is only 60%. I don't like that, really. Let's see if he can get a lead. Runner unable to get a good lead. Probably all the best because uh, if, he, uh, if he had gotten a lead, I'm not sure I would have liked the odds of 60%. But um, I thought they would be a little better for Omar Moreno. But anyway, that is a double play. Ground into a double play, and we're out of the first inning. We're going to the bottom of the first with the O's up. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, and um, Foley makes the play, so there's one down. Mark Belanger's up. <clears throat> Weak hitting shortstop, but he was very good defensively, and he strikes out. So there's two down quickly, and that brings up Boog Powell. <clears throat> and Boog Powell, let's see what he can get. He's got a chance at a triple here, but he gets the single, and probably all the best because it is Boog Powell. I can't see that guy tripling. But anyway, um, Frank Robinson is up. This uh, Orioles lineup is pretty good, i got to say. But right there, he grounds into a double play, and we are back at the plate in the top of the second inning with Willie Stargell, Pops. Apparently not all that great against lefties, and he is going to pop out to the catcher. So there's one down, and Bill Robinson comes up. And he's got a big chance at a triple. And if he doesn't get it, he's got a double. But he gets the triple. So, Bill Robinson, I am not going to try to advance. There's no reason to try to do that. We've got a man at third base 
with one out, and Phil Garner is up. Although we are getting down to the bottom of the lineup, so, you know, um, Bly Levin will be coming up pretty soon, but that's a single that drives in the run anyway. So Steve Nikosha is up with a man at first base. And that is going to be a strikeout. So there is two down, and Tim Foley is the batter. And that is going to be a ground to the shortstop, and he is out. So we got the one run. We pushed that across, and let's see if uh, Bly Levin can keep uh, shutting the Orioles down. That's going to be a strikeout, so there's one down. Here in the bottom of the second... Elrod Hendricks. I mean, I called him Ellie. I guess that was a nickname that he could have got, could have and did go by. But anyway, he's out. And Brooks Robinson is up. And that's going to be a ground ball. <clears throat> and the Orioles are out of the inning. And here he is, Burt Blylevin, to lead it off. He's only got the uh, walk chance there. But that's going to be a fly to center field. So there is going to be one out, and Bill Madlock up. We're back at the top of the Pirates' order. That'll be a ground to second, and it is an out. And that brings up Omar Moreno. And he is going to ground out. The catcher makes the play. Elrod jumps on that and throws it to first base. And so Dave Johnson is the batter. Davey Johnson, former Mets manager and obviously Orioles second baseman. And he walks. Davey Johnson's aboard, but he's a stealing E, so I don't have to worry about him going anywhere. They'll probably sacrifice with, um, with Cuellar. Runner is out. We picked off Davey Johnson. Well, they really didn't need that. And so now Cuellar will be batting. Now, Cuellar, though, gets a single. So, I mean, maybe they probably, you know, shouldn't have gotten greedy there. But uh, Paul Blair is up now with a man at first and one away. But that's going to be a walk. So the Orioles have two guys on. Bly Levin is starting to show signs already of letting the Orioles get to him. But that's a strikeout, so there's two down. Two down with two runners on and Boog Powell, power hitting Boog Powell up. And uh, yeah, he could get another, he could get a triple out of this. Just like he had the chance the other time. But that's a single. Of course, it's not guaranteed in the, the advanced game. So, uh, well, it was. I guess it was. So, I don't know. But anyway, uh, the run scored, so they did tie the game. And Frank Robinson is up. And he's going to strike out. So, uh, Bly Levin allowed the tying run to come across. And Dave Parker is going to be the batter. <clears throat> That's a possible triple. Maybe it probably a double, though. And it is. It's a double. Parker pulls in at second base. And uh, Willie Stargell's up. Hoping for those two home runs in the third e column. Not going to get it, though. It's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So there's one down, and Bill Robinson is up. And he's going to get a 4-3. That's going to be a fly to left, and it's an error by the left fielder. Did not need that. Um, well, the Orioles didn't need that. So uh, Phil Garner is up with runners at the corners and only one out. And that is going to be, what is it going to be? It's going to be a double. Nice hit. And so Steve Nikosha is the batter. And that's going to be an intentional walk because they want to pitch to Tim Foley. I mean, Tim Foley wasn't that bad. All right, well, we'll see what happens. 
That's going to be a single double asterisk, but of course, in this game, I don't even I don't even want to speculate. No, see, I do have to send him. Okay. So I will send him. It's 85% chance. And runner scores. Robinson scores. Garner scores. Nikosha takes second. Everything is good. One out. We got a big lead now. And Bly Levin is the batter. And I am not going to sacrifice with Bly Levin. And he hits the ball to second, but the second baseman makes an error. So now we've got runners on all bases with Bill Madlock up. And that'll be a 6-5. That is going to be a... It looks like it's going to be a home run. I gotta say, and it is. And so we are killing the Orioles now. Big time. And uh, that brings up Omar Moreno. And they're going to bring in a new pitcher. Eddie Watt is coming on to pitch for the Orioles. Not surprisingly, since we have an 8-1 to one lead. And Omar Moreno will bat against him. And that's going to be a ground ball B. And Dave Parker is the batter. And he's going to get a strikeout. So there's two down. Four. Oh, no, that's, that, that's it. So the Orioles are up in the bottom of the fourth, but they're down 8-1. to one. And Don Buford is the batter. And he's going to fly out. That brings up Elrod Hendricks. He gets a sing possible single, but otherwise he'll be out. And he is out. So Blylevin is settling down here a little bit after giving up that run back in the third. And Brooks Robinson is the batter. And he is going to ground out. So, Willie Stargell is the batter here in the top of the fifth. We, the Pirates of 1979 have an 8-1 lead over the 1970 Orioles. Now, you recall, they in 79, they played the Orioles in the World Series, the 79 Orioles, obviously. But this team was probably a little better even than that Orioles team. That's a fly out for Bill Robinson, so we've got two out quickly. And Phil Scrap Iron Gardner Garner is up, former manager of the Astros, in the World Series where they lost to the Chicago White Sox, my Chicago White Sox. Davy Johnson is the batter, and that was back in 2005, in case you were trying to keep score. What I'm talking about, that's a ground ball to third base. Eddie Watt, the pitcher, let's see if they pinch hit for him. No, they're not going to pinch hit for him. And he's going to foul out to the catcher. So that is an out. And with two down, Paul Blair is up. And he is going to get a walk. Paul Blair drawing the walk. And Mark Belanger's up with two down and only a man at first base. And they're down by seven runs. But that's going to be another walk. So Blylevin is falling apart here, just walking people, giving free bases out. Really don't want to do that when you're up this much. And that's going to be a single to center field, and that's exactly why you don't want to do that. Runner being waved home. Um, I am going to uh, cut off, have the cut off, uh, the throw, and stop the other runners. So, runners are at first and second with two down. A run came in, and Frank Robinson is up. And that's going to be a ground ball to second, but it's a single. So, Garner can't make the play. And uh, the bases are loaded for the Orioles now. And this could be a possible problem here. That is going to be a ground ball to shortstop. And uh, what do we got? Well, we're back up at the plate. So the Orioles did get a run in the fifth, but we're back at the plate here in the sixth. And Nikosha flies out. 
That brings up Tim Foley. Tim Foley with a possible double. And it is. It's a double. So we're getting all the all the rolls and all the breaks are going our way. Burt Blylevin is up. No reason not to let him hit. And he could even possibly get a single here for himself. But he doesn't. He lines out. And there are two down for Bill Madlock. And he's going to walk, so we've got two guys on, two men down, and Omar Moreno is the batter. And he's going to hit a single to right field. I am going to send the lead runner because I'm playing with house money here. And the throw's coming home. And he's out. They got him by the skin of his butt. So he is out. And uh, so the Orioles are back up at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. They're still down by six runs, though, with Burt Blylevin on the mound. I don't like their chances. That's a ground ball to second base for one out. Brooks Robinson is up. That's going to be a 5 8. That's a strikeout. Two down. And Davy Johnson is up. And he's going to get a two. And that's two, two. And that's going to be a foul out plus injury. Uh, although he's probably not injured, I guess, in this game. They don't actually follow the injury. So there is a new pitcher. Mo Drabowski comes on for the Orioles, pitching to Parker here in the top of the seventh. And that's going to be a ground ball to second base. So there's one down. And Willie Stargell is up. He's going to get a ground to shortstop, and it is an out. Belanger makes the play, not surprisingly. And Bill Robinson is the batter. And he is going to ground out to third. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh inning. And Mo Dabrowski is not going to be up. They're going to put in a pinch hitter, and it's going to be Merv Rettenmund. And he is going to get a fly ball to center field. So there's one down. I still got Bly Levin out there going strong here in the seventh. Paul Blair is the batter. He's going to ground to second, but it's going to be a single. It gets past Garner. And that brings up Belanger. And Belanger is going to ground out into a force play. So there's two down, and Belanger is the runner at first with Boog Powell at the plate. And that's going to be a fly to right. So they get nothing. We go to the top of the eighth with our guys batting. Here is Scrap Iron Garner himself. And that's a possible home run for Garner. But it isn't. It's a fly out. And so there's one down. And that will bring up Steve Nikosha, the catcher, doing the catching today. Not at odd. And that's going to be a fly to right. I'm going to guess Nikosha and Ott were platooned. And uh, that is going to be a 3-6. And that's going to be a ground ball for Foley. And so we're going to the bottom of the eighth. We are getting, it's getting late for the Orioles. 4-4, four, four, fly to center. And it's going to be a fly out. Which brings up Don Buford. And he is going to get us he's going to get a walk. Buford has issued a walk. Which brings up Elrod Hendricks. And he's going to be issued a walk. So again, the walk, the bugaboo for Burt Blylevin is the walk this game. Although it hasn't come back to really kill him yet. And let's hope it doesn't. That's going to be a ground into a double play, though. So we're going to the top of the ninth with Burt Blylevin up. I will pinch hit for Burt Blylevin and take him out. So what we are going to do is a substitution. And we are going to... 
pinch hit. Uh, let's go Lee Lacey. I always liked Lee Lacey. Let's do him. So Lee Lacey is pinch hitting against Dick Hall. Now they have Dick Hall out there. And that's going to be a fly to center, so Lee Lacey is out. Bill Madlock is coming up. Mad Dog. That is a possible double. The Pirates with a big lead here, and he gets the double, too. I, like I said, everything has seemed to go our way here today. And that brings up Omar Moreno. And that'll be a ground ball B. So nobody advances. Oh, he does. He does advance. All right. And uh, Dave Parker is up. I don't. I don't get the rules with the advanced. I, I. As far as I knew, nobody advances on a B. But anyway. Um. Yes. So we do have to make the change. I will. Um, replace Blylevin with. You know who I'm looking for. To Colby, that's who I'm looking for. Even though we don't really need to do that, but <laughs> uh, we will. And uh, replace him in the lineup. And so Kent to Colby is coming out to make sure that the Orioles do not come back in this game. And Davey Johnson is going to get to face him. Look at that card. And that's going to be a line out to second base. That was uh, Johnson's column, but he just failed to get anything in it. They are going to pinch hit, and Terry Crowley is going to be the lucky man that gets to face Kent DeColvey, who is much worse against a right-handed batter, and he walks him. <clears throat> Which brings up Paul Blair. And that's going to be a 2-5... And uh, that is it. Pittsburgh won. And so we'll get the box score here. Let you guys take a look at the box scores, uh, how the guys did. Just really quickly, if you want to. Pitching wise, Bly Levin went eight. He allowed six hits and walked six, but allowed only two runs while striking out five. DeColvey went one and uh, only walked a guy. Uh, the Orioles used everybody in their bullpen, apparently. They started with Cuellar, who only lasted three and a third. Then Eddie Watt lasted two and two-thirds. Mo Dabrowski pitched an inning, and Dick Hall kicked in two. And so that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.